It's Therapy Thursday, a day where we answer your questions with the help of our friend, Dr. Brenda Lloyd-Jones from the University of Oklahoma. Brenda, great to see you. Happy almost 2022. Yes, we're almost there. It's good to be close. Yes, it is good to see you. Uh, Carlos writes in this week, Brenda, saying, I'm interested in learning about other cultures and related events. I recently heard about the celebration called Kwanzaa. Can you explain what it is and how to celebrate the holiday? Oh, Carlos is just in time. Uh, today is the fifth day of Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is an African-American celebration that lasts seven consecutive days, beginning December 26th and ending on January 1st. It was created by the late Professor Karenga uh, in 1966 as a way to connect African Americans with their African heritage and roots. And it's based on seven phenomenal principles. For example, as I mentioned, today is the fifth day of Kwanzaa. So we would celebrate the fifth principle, which is Nia, which is a Swahili word, and it means purpose. So one way to celebrate it today or to celebrate Nia or purpose is to convene a, a conversation with your family members or work um, place uh, friends or the community in at large and ask them how do they use their purpose to enrich and improve uh, their community or spaces in which they work and convene. Uh, Rudisa Library here in Tulsa has an African-American Resource Center and they celebrate Kwanzaa. So you will want to reach out, go on the website. Uh, they have programs and resources that can help you celebrate this phenomenal holiday. Pamela also wrote in this week, she says, I like to set goals for the new year and host a virtual goal setting session on Zoom last year. This year, I want to do the same, but find that most of the people I invited the previous year are not planning to set goals for next year. What's wrong with establishing goals? What am I missing? Oh, Brian, this is a great question as well. Less than 8% of people stick to their New Year's resolution. So this less than favorable outcome could be one reason people are shying away from setting goals. And then there's the other piece that uh, people are also looking at other frameworks, other methods. My students uh, in human relations and I study goal setting theory, and we're finding that many people are practicing visioning, uh, this notion of developing vision boards of they can see it, they can believe it and achieve it. Other people are engaged in the model of manifestation and the laws of attraction. And so there are various ways that people are thinking about their future. And uh, I think so Pamela should convene the people who are interested in setting goals and host her goal setting session, maybe suggest ways in which they can check on one another periodically so that they may, might have a higher rate of achieving their goals. All right, Brenda, thank you so much. It is great to see you on this Thursday. And if you have a question you would like for us to consider for next week, you can send your question right now to therapythursday at griffin.news. We'll be right back.